Is there an evolutionary purpose to art making and aesthetics? This new project attempts to explore a very simple human question. Why do we make art? Throughout my youth and in my adult life, I've attended a popular local summer attraction called Pageant of the Masters. The Pageant of the Masters is a superbly crafted tableau vivant entertainment in which human beings allow themselves to be turned into living works of art. This show is not for what we actually call art people. Uh, art people is a phrase used to describe people in the contemporary art world who probably have no knowledge of the show. They'd probably think it was silly or kitsch. I don't think it's silly, and I don't think it's kitsch. I've always been interested in humans. That's my subject matter. I think I was interested in the way people looked in order to understand them. I brought a powerful pair of binoculars to the show, and I began to study up close the faces and bodies of the volunteers. What I discovered was a touching reality, things that you couldn't possibly see in the illusion of the show from 50 feet away. It just moved me. With those binoculars in front of my face, I realized I had discovered the perfect subject for my exploration into the meaning of art making. Here are some of the reasons I think people make art. To seek personal enjoyment and satisfaction, to express personal thoughts and feelings, to communicate with others, to make others see us more clearly, to provide us with new visual experiences, or to record a time, place, person, or object, to reinforce cultural ties and traditions, or to affect social change, to tell stories, maybe even to heal the sick. People make art to adorn themselves, to explain the unknown as an act of worship, of course, many artists make art to earn a livelihood. <laughs>